So today's practice is a short 15 minute warming flow that is going to focus on back body strength. And when we think about the back body, right, we have to think about the muscles that run along the spine, our back muscles, our butt muscles, and then our hamstrings. So we'll engage that a little bit, which has many benefits. Um, so let's get started. You don't need any props today. We'll start in tabletop pose. No, you know what? Actually, let's shift back into child's pose. <laughs> let's give ourselves a little break before we work. Shift back into a child's pose. Feel free to kind of prop yourself up on your elbows or spread your arms long in front of you and let your forehead rest. We'll just take a few breaths here. Always important to dig into our breath. The tool that helps us keep going, motivates us. Brings us back to center. Cultivate a longer, deeper inhale and exhale. Inhale into the back of the ribs. And exhale. Good, inhale, come forward into tabletop pose now. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale into cow pose, arch the spine, lift the heart forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, push the floor away, cat pose. Inhale, arch the spine, belly drops, heart slides forward between the arms. Exhale, round the spine, curl the tail underneath you. Come back to a neutral spine and pause. Hug the belly in, lengthen the tail back. I want you to keep that alignment as you start to lift your left heel up toward the ceiling. All right, so if you lift the left heel and you lose the belly engagement and kind of drop, so I want you to lower the knee a little bit closer to the floor so you can hug the belly in and lengthen the lower back. Then you're gonna start to take little pulses, right? That left heel is gonna pulse up toward the sky. And this is actually not a big movement. It's a small, subtle movement so that we can uh, engage the underside of the glute. I like to call it the thigh butt, where the back of the thigh meets the butt. And that can tend to be weak. So we wanna get really specific there by little pulses up, up, up. Hug the belly in, lengthen the tail back. Take five, four, three, two, and one. Good, curl the right toes under. Pick up that right knee, left knee to chest, three-legged plank, curl it in, push the floor away, point the toes, hug the heel toward your seat, and pull your left knee in and up. Good, three-legged down dog, sweep the left leg up toward the sky, inhale. Exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb. Bring the right knee down, untuck the right toes, and slide that right knee underneath the right hip. Come on up so your, your legs, both legs are at 90 degrees. And bring your hands onto your left thigh. Press the top of your right foot and the top of your right shin straight down into the mat. And you're gonna feel that right glute engage. Right sitting bone will start to reach down toward the back of the right knee. Keep everything like that. Sweep the arms up toward the sky, inhale. Good, exhale, clasp the hands behind your back. With the elbows bent, hug your upper arm bones together. Stretch your knuckles down and lift your heart up. Good, feel like you're trying to pull your hands apart, which will widen your collarbones. Lift chin out of chest, inhale, push the top of the foot and the shin straight down. Good, and then exhale your hands to the mat. Step back to high plank pose, left foot meets the right, inhale plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good, sweep the arms back, inhale, locust pose, lift everything up, legs, arms, and chest. Good, and squeeze your arms in like you're trying to touch your thumbs together. Lift the feet and reach them back, inhale. And then exhale your hands to the mat. Downward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower the knees, tabletop. Inhale, cow pose, arch the spine. Exhale, cow pose, or cat pose. Push down and round your back. Good, come to a neutral spine. Tuck the belly in, lengthen the tail back, and then reach your right heel toward the sky like you're holding a tray on your right foot. 
Okay, and then start to take those little pulses. Try not to let the right hip roll open. Keep the front of the right hip turned toward the ground. Tiny little pulses getting into the right glute, top of the right hamstrings. Belly hugs in. Keep going like that. Pour a little bit more weight into your right hand. And that'll get your belly going. Right side belly for five, four, three, two, and one. Curl those back toes under. Come into three-legged plank. Curl right knee to nose. Pause. Push your hands down. Push the ball of your left foot down. Point your right toes. Squeeze your right heel toward your right sitting bone and hug that right knee up and into the chest. Inhale there. Three-legged down dog. Stretch it high. And step your right foot to your right thumb. Sink your left knee down. And then go ahead and slide that left knee forward so it lines up underneath your left hip. Both legs at 90 degree angles as you rise up. Untuck the left toes. Press the top of the left foot and the top of the left shin straight down. And you'll start to feel your left hamstrings and your left glute muscles engage. Right, so that left sitting bone is steering down toward the back of your left knee. Arms sweep high as you're ready. Inhale. And exhale, clasp the hands, maybe the funky way behind your back. Bend the elbows, pull your upper arm bones toward each other, widen the chest, and then stretch the knuckles down and lift your heart up. Keep firming the left side glutes, keep pressing the left shin and top of the left foot down. Lift chin out of chest, last breath in. And exhale, release your hands to the mat. Step back to high plank pose, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. All right, from here, you're gonna interlace your hands behind your back. Bend your knees, and now you're holding a little itty bitty tray on both feet, <laughs> okay? So the heels are pointing toward the ceiling, and then go ahead and pick your heels up a little bit until the glutes engage a little bit more. Lift the inner edges of your feet up, right? And then lift your chest and stretch your knuckles back. Stay here for a couple breaths. Slide your shoulder blades down toward your waist. Keep lifting the heels up, engaging the hamstrings and the glutes. Stay here for an extra breath or two, or if you feel ready for it, hold the outer edges of your feet or ankles coming into bow pose. Kick your shins straight back. Lift your heart. Hug your inner shins together. Strong legs, open heart. Lift your chin out of your chest, last breath in, wherever you are. And then exhale, release. Come on down, hands by the sides of your ribs, tops of the feet on the mat. Inhale, curl your heart up, pull your shoulders back, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Push down into the heels of your hands, inhale. Exhale, hug your front ribs in. Look forward between your hands, and then exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, sit the hips down. Widen your feet a little bit so you're more, of in, a, you're more in a squat so we can get that booty, booty work in. So feet a little bit wider. Knees line up with your toes, and then sit your hips low. Arms can sweep out in front of you or sweep back behind you. So if you sweep your arms back behind you, that's that locust shape in the upper body, you're gonna get more strength in the back of your body. Shift weight back into your heels. Sitting bones reach back toward the back of your mat, and then take little pulses. Pulse your hips down and up, down and up. See if you can lift the toes, making sure that the weight doesn't shift forward into the toes. We wanna to keep the weight in the heels. Sitting bones reaching back, heart reaching forward. Spine is nice and long here. Try not to round through the spine, keep your heart reaching up. We'll go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press down into the heels, spring up to stand. Inhale, stretch the arms high. Exhale your hands into your heart. Shift from side to side. 
And just finding your breath, regulating your breath. Good, and then come back to center. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, your hands into your heart. Let's do this two more times, slowing the breath down. Inhale, arms high, maybe look up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms sweep high. And exhale, hands into your heart. Bow your chin to your chest. Take a moment here to thank your body for everything it does for you. Part of building strength for me is realizing the potential of my body. And so when we strengthen the body and work on a specific part of the body, we unlock its potential. We get to know what it can do, where it can go, and how it can really support us on and off the mat. So thank you for exploring that with me today. Work in your backside. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope because of this you stand a little bit taller and a little bit prouder. I'll catch you soon.